Hi friends, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome you all for my video. Normalization is one of the important topic in the database management system. I would like to explain you here what is normalization, why normalization. And there are different normal forms. In this video, only explain the first normal form with a proper example. Normalization is one of the important topic as I told you, but what exactly it is? It is a normalization is a process of minimizing the redundancy. Naturally, the database uh, re database relation might contain redundant data. So, it, it, the process is, is try to minimize the redundancy in the relation or a set of relations. But if there is redundancy, what is the problem? There are different types of anomalies or problems may cause if there is redundancy in the database, particularly insertion, deletion and updation anomalies, which already discussed in the earlier my video. So the normal forms are used to eliminate that redundancy in the relation. So basically just look at that how, how it looks redundancy. This is looks redundancy, the same data repeated again and again in the database it contains in this example the student has joined only two courses if he joined more than two courses and more number of things we need to be uh, write down here so it leads to there is uh, some insertion and deletion and updation anomalies so to eliminate this there are the different normal forms are proposed there is first normal form second normal form third normal form boy key code normal form short form is bcnf and fourth normal form third or uh, fifth normal form. So in this video we learn exactly first normal form with a proper examples. Look at friends first normal form absolutely a relation contains a fields but each field contains every field contains only atomic values. So this is an important point we must understand atomic Atomic is a keyword in this first normal form. Atomic indicates only one value. Each field should contain only one value. So it means that it should not be any multi-valued attributes in the relation and no composite attributes in the relation. So these are the important point. Let us look at the example which mentioned here. Assume that this is the relation R. Here, uh, this relation contains the student number student name but name is divided into first name and last name like his first name is Ravi last name is Mohan and he joined the course C C++ Java similarly 1002 is the student number his first name is Raja and second name is Ram and he joined two courses one is C and SQL and similarly 1003 is also a student who joined uh, two courses like uh, Python and SQL look at as for this first normal this table or this relation is not in the first normal form. Why? Because according to the definition of this uh, first normal form, every field in the every field contains only atomic values. Look at this field contains atomic values, but this does not contains atomic values. This does not contains atomic values. This course joint contains C, C++, Java. It contains more than one value. This also divided like first name and last name. So it is holistically talking about any relation should not contains a multi-valued attributes and composite attributes. Let us look at what is a multi-valued attribute. An attribute which contains more than one value which is called as multi-valued attribute. This is multi-valued attributes. Multi-valued attribute means it contains more than one value. What exactly the composite attribute? The attribute, it can be divided into again two things. The student name, his name again it should represent it first name and last name. So this is the one part of the name, this is the another part of the name. The database should not contain this kind of format. Then we cannot, we that relation is not in the first normal form. So this relation is not in the first normal form as for the first normal form rule. So how to this can be converted into a first normal form this table can be converted into a first normal form look at here uh, this table we are going to be converted into a first normal form 
exactly there is uh, four field three fields as it is here we mentioned there is a student number student name name is as it is but we cannot divide it first name and last name as like this here only student name and we mentioned here as a course joined okay course joined like this attribute normally contains student number 1001 because it contains the atomic value student name it is normally a composite attribute we can be mentioned only single attribute st name so this must be combined we can simply called as ravi mohan and his name is only student name there is no division of first name and last name his name is ravi mohan and he joined the course c it should not be multi valued attribute then we can again need to mention 1001 again same this ravi mohan has joined c plus plus and same this ravi mohan ravi mohan also joined a course which is called java like similarly look at 1002 his name is raja ram raja ram who joined c and as well as 1002 we called as raja ram again is joined course sql similarly 1003 whose name is rama malla he joined python similarly he same he joined this student rama malla he joined as sql look at here in this case in this case of table is converted converted to uh, first normal form look at the rules of the first normal form in every field contains only atomic values look at this field of student number contains it only one value of each record student name course joined c and this student same student has joined courses but it should not uh, have multi valued attribute so this can be only atomic single this can be single like similarly each can be contains a single valued attribute all the fields in the table contains only atomic values but you look at look at here again this can be leads again redundancy so first normal form alone cannot eliminate redundancy we can go further second normal form once you clear about the first normal form in the next video we are going to learn second normal form with proper example